I am Bouncing Pony, and you are in for a treat, because today we are continuing our recreation challenge to end up with Penny, Perfection, and that golden chicken. We accomplish a lot. As you can see, this is Robin building our next big money-making venture. So let's start the week off. All right, what does our luck have in store for us? Naturally, okay. And is today salmon berry season? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna get a bunch of salmon berries for energy. Looks like we gotta sort out our inventory first though. Uh-huh, oh, thank you so much, Evelyn. Yes, that is a fantastic tip. Let's just put away our parsnips since we won't totally need those for energy anymore. Let's craft one for an oak tree, one for a maple tree, since we um, do have opportunities to use the maple syrup for several spots in the community center. And yeah, I think just the other one for the oak tree for now. Yeah, that, that leaves us with a healthy 150 remaining wood, that's nice. You know what, we may as well get some oak resin because I always forget about oak resin. And then I'm looking to craft a loom down the line and nothing. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep that close to our field. It'll be nice and scenic. All right, inventory sorting time. All right. Let's go gift Caroline, because we got a, a gold star daffodil on us, and we really need to get on that. And then let's forage for salmon berries in cinder sap forest, and then we'll go to the mines with the time that we have left in the day. And on our way doing that, we'll go to the community center and drop off some stuff. We do have a lot that we can drop off at this point. What do we need left in the treasure hunters bundle? All right, we can take a green. I believe we have a ruby. I thought we had a ruby. Maybe we didn't take it home from the mines. And now it is time to pick the berries. All right, although it makes our path longer, let's go into town first. So that we have room in our pockets for literally anything. Oh, and immediately we find stuff so our pockets are full again. Cool. Hmm, this is a good question. I want it to play on my computer. And this one, I believe, is the only one that we've got all we need today for. Yeah! And now we have the vault bundle open up. Oh, no! Bolt and bundle first? That's nice. We'll discover what those needs are. Forager's Bundle. Okay, this one is absolutely doable. Although I, you know, do regret having to give up that much energy. Okay, another purple mushroom. That's why we have two in our chest. All right, the beet. Oh, it does include the red cabbage, though. That is probably going to end up being next year, but we'll see. 
All right, chef's bundle, another regular one. And the children's bundle. Okay, so we'll have to remember to keep an eye out for the ancient doll and keep one on us. Okay. Cool, only one left there. And that's it there. And then just one for the fish farmer's bundle. And some winter foraging. Yeah, because we didn't bring any exotic foraging with us. Cool. Oh, that's a good feeling, just dropping off a bunch of stuff. Now on to the salmonberry hunt, continuing. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's, that's what it's like when you're kids. You want to explore the gross stuff just because your parents don't want you exploring the gross stuff. Or maybe it's just a human fascination with um, exploring something that may be untried before, even when deterred. <laughs> ha ha, I was right. Now we have the vault bundle open up. Alright, well that's just money. We're definitely going to prioritize the fish pond first. Racing the Junimo. Guess it's time for another chest. I think we'll make this one our spring chest to keep all the crops forageables that happen in spring. So it will have this, 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 all of these, these two, yep. This one we'll keep inside our house, we don't need to access it that often. And then it'll be pink. Because that's the most identifiable color on the Stardew Valley symbol for the season. Since we didn't actually get to the mines today, we did not succeed, Clint. I'm so, so sorry. That would have been the way to get the money for the fish pond today. <laughs> Ugh, good luck day on a salmonberry day. That doesn't make me very happy. Cause you know all we're gonna be doing today is pretty much just getting salmonberries. Hi, cat. It's gonna be salmonberries and then going mining. I just, I, I am very cheap. I am very cheap. I don't like spending money when I don't have to. And so, I really like having salmon berries and using those for energy instead of buying salads at Gun- at- not Gunther's- Pfft, Gus's. 
All right, another opportunity to go in for Clint. Get those copper. Yeah, this cutscene doesn't give me any heart, so... I actually just learned this recently. If you press both of the menuing buttons on the controller at the same time, that skips. I don't think Y skips. It's really annoying. Nope, still not two hearts. Still... Caroline! Come on. You are at the top of my list. It's a good luck day, so that means there should be spring onions, right? Right? Okay, so... <gasps> Foraging level up! Oh, Salmonberry buff takes effect immediately! Yeah! We can definitely do five mine levels, but maybe we should just hit the copper ones instead to do Clint's quest. Well, that's one copper collected. Heck yeah! Heck yeah, the artifact! On... I think it was, I think it was the save I'm replicating. I think it was my first save. The rare disc took me so long. I think I cheated it into the game by naming one of my animals the item code. Oh, oh, there was a diamond note right there! Shoot! Let's swing by Clint's and drop off all of the stuff. Heck yeah! Yeah, we're going fighter. We're going efficiency all the way. And... Alright, that's what I'm talking about. See, now I don't feel guilty about just running around the whole day foraging. Ooh, trash bread. <sighs> this is a sentence. This is a sentence from Alex's character. This is why I do not like Alex's character. I collected this one day too late. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. Usually I'm very anxious and eager about donating things to the museum, but this time, guess I sort of dropped the ball. Guess we'll have nine cauliflowers in our greenhouse. Ah, here she is. Yes! All right, that fits! Cool. Well, one green bean. Good stuff. All right. Another bad luck day for the last day of Salmonberry season. That is nice. All right, we're actually gonna set aside 60 Salmonberry seeds since we know that we're probably gonna use them for the community center. We're gonna keep them in reserve and not eat them. We're gonna grab one parsnip for Pam's birthday. Shame we don't have any gold star or silver star ones. On to our destiny. On to Tea saplings! This cutscene doesn't uh, influence friendship points at all, but I think it's a cute cutscene. Actually, this probably influences friendship points. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Penny. Ha! Bounty fools! Yeah, it might just be me and my sister who get that reference. <laughs> Comment below if you get that reference. <laughs> That makes me feel better. Good amount of salmon berries. More fiber. Let's clear out this area. Since it's grassy, we can't grow any crops on it. So we are going to use it for a little tree farm. All right. Still a good differential between the fiber and the wood. I'm not totally surprised by that, but not terrible. Let's get all our supplies in pocket to do what we got to do tomorrow. Most importantly, turning all of these forageables into spring seeds, which we'll then craft with. Oh, bad luck. What I would really like to work on next is getting quality sprinklers. Right now, we have farming level 3. Woof. Maybe with our current funds, we should go and buy more produce seeds from Pierre to up our farming XP to be able to craft quality sprinklers before summer. Yeah. We've got a ways to go on that, though. I really never craft the basic sprinklers. I just find the layout very annoying. And given that there's so much time where I'm living with quality sprinklers, I feel like I'm just throwing away the materials if I use them on basic sprinklers. All right, fish pond's done. Thank you, Caroline. Let's craft. All right, cool. If we were to have the recipe for quality sprinklers, what we would need more of is gold and refined quartz. Hi, Pierre. Ready to give me a bunch of money? Boom. All right, that means we'll get Demetrius tomorrow. All right, so according to my calculations, we would need around 170, but that doesn't count the fact that we're gonna have at least one more strawberry harvest. But just in case, I will get 170 of these since we have the money and it'll all come back to us by the end of spring. Oh, I guess Demetrius is going to show up today. All right, so there is an argument for mushrooms so that you can get all types of mushrooms year round and avoid things like not having enough morale by the end of perfection to get perfection. And then you have to wait till spring and blah, blah, blah. But since we're on the foraging farm, we've got plenty of those. So we're going to go bats. All right, we planted and watered the majority of them. Ooh, that's going to take a long time to water. I'm sure it'll be worth it. Let's go mine. Maybe get down five levels? I do not think we are going to make it down. All right, we got to go back to the ladder. We are maybe not going to make it home. All right, gonna make it. Oh, 
awesome. We did level up today. All right, we're definitely taking minor. Plus one aura per vein is just so linearly beneficial for resource production. That's pretty much what I always choose. All right, okay, good luck day. Great. Haha, -ha, what I say? Row right away. Of course, my inventory is full. <laughs> I heard. All right, one of 15 that we'll need for the community center. We do need to come back into town by the time that Shane is going to leave the saloon because it is Shane's birthday. And while Shane isn't the best NPC for sending stuff in the mail, uh, he still sends some stuff in the mail. So we will be just going to buy a beer for him and giving it to him today. So, okay, we do need a truffle. So maybe we get a barn. All right, well, 200 would be enough. Uh, no, 350. All right, let's keep chopping. You know, this will be good for the sticky bundle too. And of course I paid no consideration to where I wanted my barn to go. All right, somewhere with lots of grass. Is this spot actually free? Yes, it is. Destroying as little grass as possible. Not gonna happen. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. See, I can never quite remember which of the Niner floors are spiral levels, and I'm very glad that we're hitting this in early evening. Oh, I guess that was it. I always forget the floor 100 is a star drop, and I could have saved it for like a day to max out stuff, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, how about let's go hit chain so we don't miss that. Happy birthday. All right, we'll say hi to all these people. And actually, we are gonna play Journey of the Prairie King. I have beaten this game on the main save, and though it's technically not one of my goals, uh, I want it to be, because I like playing this game. All right, Zombify, that is a decent pocket item. Not my favorite, ah, oh, there's my favorite. terrible. I'll save that and we'll pick that up next time we come to the saloon. Actually, I didn't check the dish of the day. What is it? Oh, it's ice cream, which we need for the community center. Yeah, we're picking this up. <laughs> Very few people like the salmon berries, and since I always have a huge stack on me, I, I just give them as gifts to the people who like them. It's just an easier, like, cumulative friendship than a lot of other options. All right, let's go home and then continue resource gathering. 
You know, this is sort of satisfying. I personally enjoy walking in the rain. And so walking around in the rain in Stardew Valley when it's all nice and quiet is so peaceful. We can pick up this almost invisible morel. We can just have the calm noise of chopped trees. All right, tomorrow, we don't have to plant the potatoes, but it will be the second to last day that we can plant the potatoes. All right, there's that preserves jar. Check that queen of sauce. Neutral luck? Okay, I can live with that. And tomorrow is our last day to plant the potatoes and it's not gonna be rainy. That's a little bit of a shame. Oh, right. Oh my God. Robin, you scared me. Mysterious wood noises coming from somewhere. Forgot I had a barn going. We don't technically have to plant these all until tomorrow, but because I definitely don't want to forget, we are going to use our very meager fiber to craft another scarecrow to cover all this ground and plant them now. Tomorrow's not gonna be a rainy day. There's no real advantage to planting them tomorrow instead of today. Okay, well that was exhausting and took us almost the entire day. Just one, uh, that's a shame. We got a gold star cauliflower today. We will be using that at the luau. I know a lot of people like to catch uh, sturgeon and use that at the luau. Old star sturgeon is also max points, but I, if I can just get a gold star cauliflower, it feels like it comes for free, if that makes sense. Obviously it doesn't. I had to spend money to buy the seeds. Nothing in the magical fruit, fruit cave first day, right? <gasps> so much in the magical fruit cave first day. I mean, pomegranate isn't even required for us, but forageables are, so that's nice. New week, new salmonberry for Linus. Kill all the slimes. Get the fiber. Then get all the valuable resources. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, well, we did make it down five levels. All right, let's get our gold bar going for the night. How are we doing on sprinkler supplies? Yeah, we've got enough to get up to 12 to match that. 12 sprinklers will be nice. Eventually we'll get more, but we'll get there. All right, that is it for week three. Oh, an achievement. Probably not money related. And next week we will have a barn built and plenty of money to start buying some cows and hopefully round out our field how we're gonna want it for summer. That sounds good to me. All the best.